In this question, we're again going to be balancing an equation. Here we have CO2O3, H2O, and COOH3. The steps for doing these questions will be exactly the same as in the previous skill, but now our equations are a tiny bit more complex. We might have three different elements instead of just having two. So I'm going to go ahead and write out this equation a bit bigger. I've got CO2. O3 plus I have H2O and that's going to create COOH3. So let's fill out our table with our elements. We've got CO, O and H and let's go ahead and add those up. So CO, I've got two beforehand because I've got CO with a subscript two. Afterwards, I just have one because I've got CO with no subscript. For oxygen, I've got O with a th subscript 3 and an O with no subscript. So that's 4 in total before in my reactants. And after I've got my O in brackets here with this OH, with a subscript 3 after. So that tells me I've got three sets of OH. That means I've got three O's. Now for the H, I've got an H with a subscript 2 here. So that's two H's before. And after, again, we've got OH there with the subscript 3. So that's three sets of H. So I've got 3H after. Okay, so we can see here that we don't have anything balanced to start with. So we can choose where we want to begin. I'm going to start by adding some more CO on the product side to balance that part. Since I've got, you can see O appears in both the first compound and the second compound, that one might be a little bit trickier to figure out. So I'm going to start with the CO because I've only got one of them uh, on in that first compound. I don't have it in the second compound as well. Um, and then I'm going to see where I go from there. So I'm going to add a two on the right hand side so that we've got more CO in our products. So let's go ahead and recalculate our numbers. So before we still have two COs, after we now have two COs. So that's starting to look good. For the O's, I've got an O3 and an O on its own before. So I've got four O's before. Afterwards, I've got an OH with a subscript three. So that's three sets of O. And I have a coefficient two beforehand. So that's two times three, which is six O's in my products. Then for the H, I have H2 before. So that's two H's before. And after, again, I have this OH with a subscript 3, that's 3 H's, and I have the coefficient 2, so I've got two sets of that. So 2 times 3 is 6 H's after. Okay, so now we can see our CO is looking good. We've got 2 and 2, that's balanced. However, our O and our H both have too few on the left-hand side in the reactants, and we have both of those in H2O, that compound. So I'm going to add an extra H2O to the left so that we're adding some O and some H and see how that affects us. So let's go on and add them up again. I'm going to go a bit quicker this time. So CO, I've got two on the left. On the right, I've got two. For oxygen, I've got three here and I've now got two here because of that coefficient, so five. O on the right, I've got three in that OH, and I got two sets of it, so that's six. Now for the H, I've got two here with the H2, and I've got a coefficient two, so two times two is four. And on the right, I've got H with the subscript three, and I've got two sets of it, so that's six H's on the right. Okay, so we're getting closer, but we still have two little... O and two little h in our reactants on the left. So I'm going to add one more. I'm going to change that from a 2 to a 3. And I'm going to go ahead and count again to see how we're doing. So for the CO, we've got two before, we've got two after. For the O, we've got three here and we've got three here. So I've got six in my reactants. In the products, 
I've got an OH with a subscript three and a two coefficient. So that's two times three O's. For the H, I've got subscript two and a coefficient of three. So three times two is six. And then afterwards, I've got OH with that subscript three. So that's three H's. And I have a coefficient two. So two times three is six. So now they are all equal. We have successfully balanced our equation. So we can go ahead and enter those coefficients up here. We had one set of CO2O3, three sets of H2O, and two sets of COOH3. Finally, we'll just add our total numbers of each element in the reactants and products here, just to check our answers are correct. We had two cobalts before and two cobalts after. We had six oxygens before and six oxygens after, and we had six hydrogens before and six hydrogens after. So again, you can see this process is exactly the same every time. We're just counting up what we have before and what we have after, and then adding some more where we're missing and doing that on repeat until we get to where we want to be. You can speed up the process a bit by making some intelligent guesses. So in this question, we added one extra H2O. We put a two here first, but we probably could have guessed, oh, well, we actually needed two more oxygens and four more hydrogens, which we could have guessed, oh, well, if we add two extras here for a total of three, that would give us what we needed and we could have cut out one of the steps. So you can speed up the process a little bit by making some more intelligent guesses, but it still works if you just add one by one. It's just a little bit of a slower process.